Hi, I'm Diana Newman, nutritionist for Little Ear 12, and today we have prenatal dietitian Melanie McRice here to discuss what to eat if you have been diagnosed with gestational diabetes. Welcome, Melanie. Thanks for having me. So, Melanie, firstly, can you please tell us what is gestational diabetes? Certainly, um, gestational diabetes is literally diabetes throughout pregnancy. So it usually starts at around 26 weeks to 28 weeks um, gestation and it occurs because of the hormonal changes in pregnancy at that time. So uh, at around that time during pregnancy, the goal of our body is essentially to help our baby to grow uh, to be the right weight ready for delivery and those hormones tend to cause some insulin resistance which means that this other hormone called insulin uh, isn't able to do its job at breaking down carbohydrates as well as it should do. Right okay and so how does diet affect gestational diabetes? Yeah well as I said um, insulin helps to break down carbohydrates and carbohydrates are found in a broad range of both healthy and unhealthy foods. Uh, so healthy foods like starchy veggies, fruit, legumes, uh, whole grains, um, dairy products as well. Um, and then as well as in sugar and sugary types of products. So um, yeah, having these, well, yeah, having these carbohydrates, what we want to be making sure that we're doing is obviously choosing the healthier types of carbohydrates that we need for pregnancy and avoiding the not so healthy carbohydrates. Um, we want to be making sure that we're having small, regular amounts of um, carbohydrates throughout the day. So we don't want to have one meal um, where we just have a salad for lunch with no carbohydrates and then have a massive big bowl of pasta for dinner with bread and, and then have a huge amount of carbohydrates. So we want to try and keep our carbohydrate distribution fairly even across the day. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, so they're kind of the, the main yeah. strategies that we really want to be focusing mm. on. So if it's, mm. I guess if it's carbohydrate based, can women just eat a low carbohydrate diet? That's a really common question, um, but for most people the answer is no. Um, there are a few people who are starting to try that now, but it has some quite significant consequences. Um, so you definitely don't want to do that without doing it under the guidance of a healthcare professional. Um, as I mentioned, there's a lot of nutrient-rich foods that contain carbohydrates. So imagine if you're cutting all of those healthy foods out of the diet, it leaves very little. Um, and that the research tends to suggest that that can actually have quite significant impacts upon baby's health. Um, so for those reasons and more, it's really important to be having carbohydrates throughout pregnancy. I see. And so Melanie, can you please share with us a few of your top tips for women with gestational diabetes? Certainly. Um, so well, one would be to always be combining carbohydrates with a protein. Um, so some protein rich foods are foods like nuts or again dairy has got protein as well as carbohydrates in it. So if you're going to have something like some fruit, you want to, which is just pure carbohydrates, you want to put some protein with it to slow down the breakdown of those carbohydrates um, and make it more easy for the insulin to be able to get that carbohydrate off into the cells. So that would be tip number one. Tip number two, um, I'm going to go for having some dairy before bed. Uh, dairy is low glycemic index which means that it breaks down quite slowly because of the fact that it's got that protein in it um, and so overnight when you're fasting uh, having that low GI dairy product helps to just really keep your blood glucose levels nice and even overnight and then my third tip would be to make sure that you do have a personalized consultation with an accredited practicing dietitian um, because at the end of the day everyone is different I mean, pregnancy isn't easy for anybody, but we all go through different things during pregnancy. And so you want to have somebody who is an expert in the area go through and figure out what's going to be right for you and your body and you and your family um, and just make it so much easier on you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Melanie. That's fantastic information. So that wraps up our interview for today. If you've got any questions for Melanie, please feel free to pop them in the comments and remember to like and share this video and we'll see you next time.